Heather's like, the bike is the entire basement. Um, and on bad news, three of my lights went out. So I've got some reduced lighting for this video. I'm very sorry about this. I want to start on this side. Oh wait, what, am, what are we doing? Um, <laughs> we got some, we have some stuff. This is a clear water Dixie or DC. Um, yeah. So what this does is when it's running, um, you can set the, on the, with the wonder wheel, you can set the inside lights to be any temperature you want to from 0% up to 100%. Then when you go high beam, all of the, um, the Savinas around the outside go full power and the Darla's go full power. So it's basically a Darla and a Savina in one housing. It's going to go on the crash bars. So um, we're going to do this video and we're also installing a Billy brake light as well, which is right there. Um, so this is going to be two, two videos. The first, let's actually, no, let's do it three videos. First is going to be how do you install um, the Clearwater can opener on a BMW R18? Second video will be installing and running the wires for the Dixies. And the third video will be how to install the Billy brake light. There's a lot of disassembly that has to happen because like I need to get to this thing has to come off. This panel has to come off. The rear seat may have to come off. All kinds of stuff to do um, to get this all working. So um, and I'm like, well, how much space can I use into there for the wire? And there's all kinds of stuff I have to answer. And um, no one's done this before. So, well, let's jump right into it. All right, so to get the um, Dixie's uh, ready to mount up to your engine bars, you're gonna need a four, a five, and a six millimeter, as well as a 17 mil uh, wrench. I prefer the Joker, because it's nice, and has this nice integrated here, and has that dual side right there. I love this thing. Those are your tools you're gonna need. Um, so right here, we have our, our Dixie uh, as you can see here, there are two holes on the side. Um, you have to kind of do this in a certain order. So if you put these two in, it's going to be hard to get the, well, let me show you. The two bolts in here, like this, then it'll be hard to get the bottom bolt in to this mount here. So you kind of have to first put this mount in like this, uh, and then you're going to build the light around this piece right here, and then you can finally hook this into the engine bar. So you can see over there, if you look far away, I've got the one and a quarter inch engine bar right there. That's already mounted up, but that hole in the top is gonna to be, be turning forward towards the front of the bike. You should probably use some Loctite. I use the 243 stuff. 242 is fine as well. Uh, since this is gonna be going onto the bike like that, this is gonna be like that, that on top. We can go ahead and hook up just like that. You're gonna be using the 17 hex with that um, collapsible washer that has some resistance to it. So you're gonna go straight into here, like so. And this will go underneath like that with a bit of Loctite on it. Now this has started. We're gonna grab our joker here and just tighten this down. I still wanna be able, um, I still wanna be able to move that around. We need some modulation when we can actually get on the crash bars. So make it tight, but where it still moves around. From here, you're gonna take those two side bolts. These are flat washers and you're gonna mount into the side of the Dixie. So um, those are already ready to go. We're gonna put some Let's get that started by hand on the other side. These lights massive, just like that. Now you're gonna use your number five L key. Again, tighten these up, but don't. Um... So there's that. Now you can see your setup. This is gonna be facing forward. That last bolt goes right in here. And the last bolt is gonna be using one of these washers that is um, will collapse on itself to add some, some torque to it. How it looks, so you've got your, this facing forward. This is the six mil, 17, and the fives. Um, when you get this all set up and installed, um, you know, have a, a friend, partner, whoever, sit on your bike, have it upright, 
And then you want to check the levels on all these. Make sure that um, you know everything is level and facing the right direction. I like to face the right one a little bit to the right because I, I drive on the right, right side of the road in the U.S. Have this face a little bit out from the bike. Uh, that'll light up some of the side roads. And the other one I have facing a little bit in as to not bl blind oncoming traffic. If you do to the left and up, you're basically blinding cars. These are going to get cable managed. We're going to use the zip ties and give this a little bit of um, a little bit of uh, a place for the water to drain. It's right there. Put a zip tie there. Run it straight underneath there to right here. My assumption is that we're going to have these run... We've got some, some mounts right there. Have these run all the way through alongside that um, upper part of the frame. You can kind of get your finger in there a little bit. You can run a zip tie maybe through there. If not, just run it straight back. It's not These things aren't under, under, under any pressure or anything. But So we're going to be installing the can opener on the R18. So we have our lights already mounted up there, but the wire goes to nowhere. You have the uh, can over, this is 3.4, with uh, everything I'm gonna need there. You have the cable you use to run to the uh, front of the relay. Uh, on the relay, which will go underneath the front of the tank, you have your data cable, you have your battery cable, and then you have two cables that go to the lights themselves. Given the length of this thing, I feel like I could probably not have to mount it at the tank. We're gonna we're gonna figure that out. The where the can opener is on this site or the alarm cable can opener goes on this bike is you're going to drop this peg down like that. We're going to pull. There's the grommet also came out by the way, which is fun. And then pull that out from there. So that slides out from that little hook there. The rest of these are all grommeted in, which as usual, one grommet goes with you. So put that back in before you reinstall everything. Underneath look at that, uh, we're looking for our alarm cable. So that's the OBD2. I think the alarm cable is right there. I'm gonna unhook that. I'm gonna plug the can opener into it. And then the other side, of the other alarm cable goes back into the other side here. Let's go and get that done. That'll be probably the easiest part of this entire exercise. Cause I have to run a cable or two all the way up under there, just like that. So quite a lot of work to do to get everything hooked up, but we'll get there. You can see on this bike that, uh, yeah, we do have to hook into the alarm cable right there, but it's hard to get to the other side of that with this thing in the middle. So we have to cut at least one zip tie to lift this loom up enough to get under here. This is bracket's also in the way too, and that bracket is kind of in there. Yeah, you really can't. It's a part of this OBD2 port right here, so it's kind of hard to get into there to get this can opener in, but we'll, we'll get to it. Just showing you guys what you're going to deal with. I'm going to start by zip, undoing one or both of these zip ties to get all that uh, free for me. I'll take that back. <laughs> all you got to do is undo the OBD2 cable, which is just as easy as putting that, squeezing there, and pulling that out. Once you do that, you grab here and you slide. Keep sliding. And then from there, you can lift up here and put your fingers in. So now you can see um, this plug here is just going up to here. So that's the old alarm port. That's the can opener, obviously. So can opener goes into that hole. Alarm port goes over. You got the pass through right there. Um, now we slid this back into place. So now we can take our OBD2 port and put this right back in there. So now we have a few things left. We have our our um, wire that's going to go up to the relay. So we're going to have some cable management that kind of comes. I'm going to remove some of this piece here for the um, air intake and run this behind there and snap it in there somewhere. And this port is going to hook up to... <clears throat> Let me give myself a little more space here. So I removed this panel from the other side as well. I'm going to remove um, these air intake um, headers, intake headers. Uh, as I think I can remove this entire plastic piece off like this on both sides, which will give me a lot more space to work with. So I'm gonna give that a try. So I've figured it out. One, two, three, and four. And then you have one more bolt under here, and then this all just slides right off. So uh, battery is right under there. You can see it from there. There's the battery right there. 
So there are a T25 and a T25. I hope I can just lift this thing right out without having to remove these uh, T30s that are holding on the passenger footrest. Note, uh, the T25 is holding the battery and had a wee bit of thread locker on them. Um, this battery cover has a couple of things on the bottom here, so you're gonna wanna um, pull those back out of these little holes right there on the bottom. So there's our battery. We have our, looks like positive, can't tell yet, and uh, other side. Man, this is a bitch to get to. <laughs> you know, this is, <laughs> This is uh, kind of ridiculous, especially because this access is on the left side. So the thing's leaning. <laughs> pain in the ass. It's leaning this direction. And so I'm working on my like hands and knees to get to this battery compartment. And the positive, it does have like your GS and such, a, um, a plug right there for your positive. So that can opener is going to have, or that relay is going to have a positive kind of coming down through here and going down through this thing and uh, terminating right there. And oh, there. And the negative is going to come down the other side and terminate that down there. So let's get this thing wired up and I'll show you guys what it looks like afterwards. So uh, you can see here the can opener negative runs through here, hooks into there. I used a 10 mil to, um, to get into here. There's also a strap here that you can kind of break loose. So now I'm just going to push this back, back in its cubby hole and then put this strap. I'm up for our two hands. I put this strap back on that little hook right there, and then I can uh, button the battery back up because it's basically I'm done with the battery side of things because I've got this positive lead on the other side. Uh, they give you a posi tap with a positive lead. There's the positive um, jack right there. I'm going to pull this through. There's your uh, rear shock, so you don't want to get in the way of that. So I'm going to pull all this back through and cable manage over there. Just make sure you remember to take this guy here and push it right over there. And then you can pull all this back through. I'm going to then um, zip tie whatever's left of this to one of these cables right here or something. Let me pull this through and we'll get from there. So um, we have the negative going from here. It's kind of coming down. It's, it's zip tied to this cable here, which is the negative lead. Um, I brought the positive back through. Well, this is all going to tuck in. This is the data cable going up to the very front of the bike. Lots of excess here. Remember when you put your plastic piece back in, one corner has to go in there. So all this cable is, is gonna need to eventually get moved. Data cable plugs into there. There's your Billy brake light right there. Um, the alarm side is right there. So all this is gonna need to be kind of, I would say zip tied down to the loom as low as possible away from where the spring and shock compresses. I need enough clearance to be able to get the, um, the intake cover uh, piece to put back in there and put back in there if it doesn't so this needs to be up here So that all slides back in without a problem. So we'll start kind of zip tying around here until we get to the very top um, But I'm not going to make those zip ties tight Because um, I want to be able to run that relay up to the front and then um, Once it's all good and taut then I can pull more of this data cable through uh, as well as any positive negative stuff and uh, basically make all that kind of all the junk is going to be back here in this whole vicinity area. Okay, so right now we have this running back. Everything is right there at the moment, so you can see how this is. You can get an idea of how this is all going back there. So basically just following the rail of uh, wires uh, behind. For now, I tucked everything down into this cubby. It's in front of the battery pack. It's sealed on all sides. I will zip tie all this. I'm gonna remove these two T25s again and zip tie all that. But this is a really nice place to keep some cables. Uh, again, you've got that uh, rear shock right there. So, um, you know, this and also this little bolt here where your, um, your little plastic cover needs to come into. So this is gonna get pushed back and then zip tied down to the main loom kind of like that, so kept kind of low and, and away from the, the, the rear shock. Let's go to the other side, I'll show you guys the relay and how that's all set up. Here's the, um, this one is up tight as well, but here is the um, positive for the clear water light. So that's gonna get, see how it's kind of going through there onto the other side. So again, that's gonna get, uh, I'm gonna do a zip tie around there and kind of get all that out of the way and maybe hook it up to these uh, these ABS lines here. Your drip line coming down, you see on the front here, you've got like four good um, zip ties, in my case, five. 
this uh, steering damper is going to come down through this hole here where the engine guard is. So that hole needs to be cleared. So you can't have any sort of wires uh, directly behind there. So this is all basically mounted to the engine bar. And then the relay is mounted um, as well as the engine bar, but in a couple of different places to keep it from moving around. So all that you have when this is all over with is just two lines, data and um, power. Can't get to them. Data and power that are still kind of doing their thing. And, um, you know, I'm going to probably, I'm going to figure something else here. I don't like that for long term, but anyway, you know, it's a pretty, pretty clean install. You just don't have a lot of empty space up here like you do on the GS to kind of hide stuff all way around. And now we're putting it all back together. So we have, um, I'm going to start up front. I'm going to put these back together. I'm going to also put this brake line back together. Then we're going to start cable managing the uh, wires that are coming from the Billy brake light up to the can opener and get that secured. From there, um, adding back in the seat, then the top case um, down, then the side luggage, um, then we're done. So that's the next steps. Um, it should take about an hour or so. I'm going to take my time with this especially. Make sure everything here is all tucked away. Remember that shock is right there. So you just don't want to have anything kind of up it against that. Like everything tucked away. Do some zip ties down here. The stuff that's on the battery cover. Get that back on. But um, it is coming. I wanted to show off this spot right here. So this is obviously off. To get it back on, there are three clips. And I had to um, redo the zip ties here to make this cable sit a wee bit higher. Because they just the watt wasn't able to push the left side in all the way. Uh, it took a little bit of massaging. So, you know, you can see the cables are just kind of, you know, they're just a little bit low. And so it was pinching when trying to close this back up. You could install the wires by not removing this, but you're going to have a tough time. So it's kind of like, you know, put them really high and tight and um, then you can get this thing closed back up. No problem. Just thought I'd show you guys that.